In this video, we'll explain what metadata is, how Iconic uses it, and how you can customize it for how you work. Metadata is essentially data about data. Without this, finding files can be difficult if you don't know the file name or location. But when utilized correctly, it is one of the smartest things an organization can do to maximize searchability and the value of their content. There are two types of metadata in Iconic, descriptive and functional. Descriptive metadata is mostly useful for searching. It focuses on what's in the media. Here, we see this image is tagged with headwear, hands, yellow, among other tags. Within this is also technical metadata like the date it was shot, by what camera, and what location. Functional metadata can be used to trigger events or to inform steps within a workflow. This could include info like what project the media belongs to, whether it has cleared the review process, or triggering it to publish somewhere else, outside of Iconic. In Iconic, you'll find metadata in the Metadata panel. Adding this information used to require a lot of time and manual effort, but Iconic can add metadata pretty quickly. It does this either by extracting technical data automatically when the content is ingested, or by analyzing media with AI. If the AI is unsure about a tag, you can choose to add or remove it. If you already have metadata associated with your files, Iconic can keep that intact either by using sidecar metadata files when content is ingested, or by using APIs to update or add data to Iconic from a third party. There isn't one right way to organize metadata, but there are a couple of points you can consider that can help. First, consider how you organize media today. What are the folder structures and file names? Any of these can become metadata to offer multiple search paths to a file, instead of a single path offered by file systems like Finder or Windows File Explorer. The second point to consider is to think back to a time when you couldn't find a file. Was there something you wanted to search for but couldn't? When this happens, write down the thing you wanted to search for and consider making it a new metadata field. Once you've decided what data you should track, then you can begin to build the right metadata fields and views. As your media moves through its life cycle, certain data will be more relevant to some than others. Metadata views will present data arranged in a way defined by your organization. These views can limit what data is visible, determine if users have read and write privileges, and even require users to add certain data. A video editor could have their own view that would show them if the media is approved to use, or which production it belongs to. A business manager can also benefit from their own metadata view. They could add department codes and billing project information to help them know the value of each piece of content. This is the admin section of Iconic. From here, I can demonstrate how to create a new metadata view. This view will be for marketing, so let's add a short description here. To create a new field, just add a label, name, and choose the type of field to use. I'll use this field to tell the marketing department whether or not they can use this media. Every field can be optional or required. After adding a field description or going through the rest of the options, the field is complete, and we can continue to add more fields to complete this view. Back in the Metadata Views list, the new view is now visible. To make this view available for the right people, let's go to the ACLs section. Here, we can add the new metadata view for specific users or entire groups and set permissions. Let's enable this view for everyone. Finally, go to Categories to select where this view will be used. Now we're done. 
The entire organization can use this new view to manage assets and collections. In this video, we've learned about what metadata is, how Iconic uses it, and how you can make it your own. All these things will help keep your media organized and easy to find in Iconic.